All right, everyone, welcome to Empowering Women to Stay Encouraged During Hardship. I am Antoinette Walton. I am the moderator and I am um, the owner and CEO of We Empower Her LLC. Um, this is a part of a, ser a webinar series um, that I am doing to help empower women. So stay tuned. Um, we do have more to come. Um, this is the second series in the in the series. So again, I am Antoinette Walton and I will be your moderator today with We Empower Her LLC. A little bit about me. I am a mother of four beautiful children. I am married. I have another um, full-time job as well. And I am currently in school to obtain my master's in education. And um, so this, I like to educate people. So being able to have webinars has allowed me to reach more people than I ever have been able to. So um, I wanted to make sure that I am providing this for free to people because we're, we're a lot of people are going through things and we I want to make sure that people have abilities to access content such as this. So my mission at We Empower Her LLC um, is that We Empower Her LLC offers a unique educational experience for women by providing opportunities for women's empowerment. And what I, what that means to me is that I, like I said before, I want to make sure that women have the, the support that they need to feel like they are powerful. Um, I do believe that when women feel like they have power and that they feel empowered, that they can take on the world. And I know that sounds cliche, but I really do feel like when a woman feels like she can, um, when a woman feels like she is important and that she means something to the world, then she can really make a difference. Um, and it just takes that one little thing to help push you over and um, push you to feel empowered. So that's why my mission is to provide an educational experience for women. So um, let's talk a little bit about what we're doing today. Um, we are empowering women to stay encouraged during hardship. So with that being said, I kind of want to um, start this off with a little activity. Um, so this is going to be a really cute activity. We're going to use what's called Jamboard. If you have used Jamboard before, can you raise your hand? Or if you've heard of it, can you raise your hand? It looks like nobody. All righty. <laughs> That's okay. That's totally okay. Um, I didn't know about it either until I became a facilitator. And also, um, whenever I I went to a class and one of the facilitators used it, so it was very nice. So what we're going to do is I'm going to give you a link, and you can put this into your cell phone into a computer, however you like to do it. Um, the link will take you to what's called a Jamboard. And then we will post um, sticky notes into that Jamboard. The point of this is to um, say some things in your lives that you feel thankful for. Um, and then you'll add it to the Jamboard. And at the end, we'll all have all of these sticky notes of things that everyone is thankful for. And again, it, and also it is anonymous, so no one will know that you typed that, but um, everyone can share and use this Jamboard there on their own and they can, you can download it or whatever you wanna do. So let me share my screen so that you can see what it looks like. And then I'll post the link for you guys. So this is Jamboard, um, and I'm going to show this while we're in it as well. So as everyone puts in their um, sticky notes, you'll be able to see what other people are saying. So all you have to do, um, if you want to, you can use a pen and write um, on the Jamboard, and then you can erase it. Or you can use a sticky note, which I like the sticky notes pretty the most. And you just type whatever you feel like you're thankful for. You can choose your color that you like and then save it. Um, and then you can move it around, how, whatever you want to do with it. You can make it bigger. You can make it smaller. 
And then as you can see, now we see that there's two sticky notes there. Um, I would not use these other options. So I would just say use a sticky note or you can write it, whatever is best for you. So now I'm gonna drop the link into the chat and then everyone, if you could please go into the chat and um, go to the link. And this it's called um, silent gratitude meet mapping. So we're we're gonna be silent unless you have something to say while we're doing it. Oh, also another thing, when you join, it said it gives you a name like anonymous sheep or anonymous goat, or it'll give you an animal name. So <laughs> I think that's pretty cool as well. And you can see like who's there. The anonymous sheep is right here. Oh, I got a giraffe now. Hey, giraffe. Okay, if you just joined, I'm not sure who joined while I was explaining. We are in what's called Jamboard. And the Jamboard is to help us um, put in some things that we are thankful for. Um, and then after we put all the information in, this is anonymous, so no one will know what you put then everyone will have access to this Jamboard, and then you can look back at it and say, oh, there are things that I'm thankful for um, that other people may have put, but I can look at this and um, be encouraged by what other people have put as well. So uh, what, the way that you can do it is you go over to the side, click sticky note, um, choose your color, and type something you're thankful for, and it'll put the sticky note on the screen for you. It says I only have um, view only access. To the chair board? Mm-hmm. <laughs> well, that's very rude of it. OK, let's see. <laughs> <laughs> um, Oh, that's why. Okay. Everyone should be able to do it now. I had to click something. Thank you. No, thank you for letting me know. Is everyone able to type? It's still saying um, it's only for viewing for me. Oh, this is not working. So I'm going to try a different thing. We're going to squash this and do it a different way. Um, OK, let's do a whiteboard on Zoom, that might be easier. 
So um, if you just click the text icon or you can draw, click text and then type in what you are thankful for. Hopefully that works. But this will show your name. So if you're not comfortable sharing, that's totally okay. And then I will share this map with you guys, um, this whiteboard with you guys um, after I save it. I just put it in a chat because I'm on my phone. So that could be a reason why okay. I'm not able to use it. How about I do this? Oops. I'm not going to share the things that you guys put in the chat. Okay. So I have some I have some people saying that they are thankful for their health. Um, they're thankful for family and friends and their sorority sisters. Um, and that they're thankful that they're in their right mind. I like that. And their faith. Yes, I love it all. Okay. okay. So um, I hope this exercise helped you to see um, what you can, what you are thankful for. Um, whenever you're feeling maybe like you need some encouragement, I'm going to share this out to everyone that um, that attended today, and I'm going to so that you guys can have this available to you later on. OK, um, but I just want you guys to think about whenever you're feeling like you're, you need some encouragement, you can go and look at this and, and say, hey, um, I'm thank I'm thankful for all these things. But other people are thankful for these things, too, and I can use what they're thankful for to help me get through my day as well. So I really hope that this was helpful. This was a helpful little um, icebreaker exercise for you all. Um, and I did save it, so I will go ahead and um, get this out to y'all once this is over. So let's get back to the presentation. All right, so um, as I was saying earlier, we do have Tiffany Brown on with us today. I'm so excited that she's here because she has been an encouragement in my life. Um, she's been an encouragement in my line sister's life as well as a, I'm sure a host of other people. Um, so I would like to bring Tiffany Brown to the virtual stage. And Tiffany, please go ahead and tell us about yourself and let's get started. Hello. Um, well, as Tony stated, my name is Tiffany Brown and I am a life coach. And a lot of times when people ask, well, what is a life coach or what does a life coach do? A life coach is someone that can help you through transitions um, with being more accountable or just, um, personal or generalized issues that you may have. Like say if you decide you wanna transition from 
the medical field and you decide you want to go into the corporate world. Well, that's a big transition and a shift in your life. So that's something you have to prepare for mentally because you can't, you know, just switch one to the other and think that you can keep the same mindset. You can't. It's two different areas that are going to require two different things. So I help people with that. Um, and right now, you know, in life, everything is really hard and it, everything is a struggle. Um, so I try to help people to stay focused and just be more accountable for your actions and your thoughts and things you do. Um, I'm trying to think. So anything else that can kind of describe what a life coach do, does? And of course, we cheer people up. That's another big thing. We coach you and we cheer you up. <laughs> um, so um, I guess we can get into the presentation. And as Tony stated, um, today's pres uh, presentation is staying encouraged during a hardship. As we all know, this last year and a half has really been trying on everybody's physical, emotional, and mental status. Um, so a lot of things have changed and it's become more of a struggle and hard. Um, it's like four things that I try to tell everybody to focus on or to help you get through that time. And one of them is you definitely need a good support system. And by that, whether if it's a really, really good friend or a family member that, you know, you trust who you can talk to who's going to encourage you. They're not going to, you know, talk about you or put you down for your ideas or your thoughts. They're going to encourage you and maybe, you know, say, hey, uh, your thoughts are good, but how about, have you tried this? Or have you tried that? Somebody who's just there to support you and motivate you. Um, like I can say in my instance, I can say my sorority sisters have been a blessing. Even though they say I'm a blessing to them, they're a blessing to me because we're, we're a unit and we focus, we work as one. So when one is down, we all try to, you know, come together and support the other one. If another one is, you know, sick or, you know, just feeling like depressed, we're there to help. It helps a person. It, it, you, it's hard to think that a lot of people go through depression and anxiety alone. Those are some big things that a lot of people, you know, you can't deal with those two alone. There's a lot of other things too you can deal with, but depression and anxiety, You've got to definitely have a support system. People who are there who notice when you're getting you know, anxious, who can say key things that they may know about you. They might be able to say, hey, you know what? Like if, if you call up with your friend and you tell them, you know, hey, I'm nervous right now. This is what's going on in my mind. That person that you called, she'd be able to tell you, hey, you know, stop for a second and breathe. You know, Count to 10, take some deep breaths, breathe, reset your train of thought. Those simple little steps can change major things for somebody with anxiety. So that's good to have, you know, a support system. And just make sure your support system, though, is, is, is going to be, Trying to say it in the night, you know, it's always going to be there. You know, you may, you may pick somebody who you think is going to be strong for you, but then when you need them, they turn around and they they're really not there for you. So make sure when you're picking your support system, it's somebody who you know is strong enough to be there, no matter what day, night, in between, whatever that they're there. The next thing is use your resources in your area, and right now, you know, with COVID being out of control. Online help has been the main source now because a lot of companies aren't open anymore. They're seeing people either, you know, virtually or, you know, or they're having phone appointments. Find you, like, say, if you're stressed out because, hey, you can't pay your bills. Okay, search online for, a, you know, uh, most food banks also offer help financially. Reach out to them to see if they can help you. Don't stress about it. Just look for ways to try to figure out how to get it done. And I think that's a lot of times, a lot of people, they don't look at the resources that they have in the area. Or you may know somebody who may have a whole list of, you know, of things. If you can get that list and just start trying to figure out what resources you need. Some of those even lists, you know, some people 
they may need a therapist. They may not have one, or if you don't have insurance to get a therapist, they have ways that you can get um, government funding, government government funded therapists who would do it for free. So there's there's always help out there, and don't think it's not. You just sometimes you just may have to actually verbally say something to somebody because you never know who has a list that can help you with uh, any of the issues that you may be having. The next um, thing. Can I add something, Tiffany? Yes. Um, but I also like to say, um, check with 211. I'm pretty sure that 211 in every state has options available for if you need help. Um, they can either point you in the right direction or give you those resources to um, like websites and different um, places that you can go to. So I would say try using 411 when you are looking for resources in your area. Okay, sorry. It's okay. No, that's a good one. Yep. Um, the next one is find something that keeps you centered and focused. Um, a lot of times when you get distracted and you need help refocusing on something or getting centered back to what you're trying to do, find something that 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 you like. Like some people have vision boards. The vision boards are there for them to visually see every day when they get up. It may have words of encouragement. It can have things that you want or goals you want to meet. When you find yourself, you know, during that time struggling, look at your vision board. It takes you back to the to the time when you were trying to make that those thoughts and trying to figure out what it is that you wanted. That vision board is there to help you focus and to keep you focused on the goals that you want to meet for that year. I know with COVID, a lot of things that we wanted to do in 2020 got put off to 2021. So maybe you wanted to take a vacation or maybe it is something you just want to do for yourself. Like you wanted to buy a new car or is this you wanted to be able to spend a day at the spa? Is this find something that's going to keep you focused and centered? For some people, it's their kids, you know, spending time with their kids, you know, take your kid to the park, exercise with your kids. That's a good thing. A lot of kids right now aren't getting the proper exercise that they need because, you know, of COVID, you, they can't socialize with other kids and things they can't do anymore. So that's something that you can do, to, you know, to help keep yourself focused and centered. It's just, you have to find things that work for you and you have to think about it. You know, you can't get anxious about it. Just think, okay, all right, what is something that's going to relax me? What is something that's going to be my key to get me back to where I need to be to get to finish whatever it is I'm trying to do? So um, I don't know if a lot of you do vision boards, but they do come in handy and they are helpful. You can make several different ones. You don't have to just have one. It could be several different things that you may want to accomplish or do. And you have those boards, you can put them up throughout your house. So that way, no matter where you are, if you're in your bathroom, you're in your kitchen, your living room, your bedroom. You see your vision board and your goals of things that you want to do or trips you want to take or just something you may want to excel with, with another job. You might say, hey, I want to switch. I, I want to I'm a manager now. Maybe I want to be a director or maybe I want to be an actual CEO. If you put that on your vision board, you see that every day and you start getting that CEO mindset. And you, you know, it, it just prepares yourself because anything you do, it's all mental. It starts with your mental. If you focus and change your mental, everything else will fall into place. And the last thing, and I think is most importantly, is it's not the end of the world. Hardships happen. And when they happen, it's because you're coming out to something bigger and better. You're never going to grow if you're not put in a hard spot. If everything is made easy and simple and just happens as you want it, you're not going to try harder for anything or you're not going to think about or appreciate what you get on the next step. So when you get to feeling down or you're back, you know, sad about some things or you feel like it's just getting too hard, that's only because your breakthrough is coming. You're going to get something bigger and better. And when it happens, you'll be prepared for it. So don't let the hardships just make you feel like, oh, this is it. I can't do anymore. I, I don't I don't want to. Yes, keep going, keep pushing. Because every time there's a hardship, there's something better on the other end once you're done. And then once you get to that next step, it'll be easy for a while. Then another hardship is going to come. And when that hardship comes, that just means it's time for you to excel to the next one. 
All you got to do is just keep pressing forward. And when that hardship comes, look at it, smile at it, conquer it, and keep going. And that's all I have. Thank you so much, Tiffany. I really, really appreciate you today. Um, and again, if you want to reach Tiffany, you can find her on Facebook, Tiffany Brown, comma, Life Coach. Is that right? Yes. Yes. So everyone go follow her on Facebook. Make sure that she gets all the views that she can get or not views, all the likes that she can get so that she can, um, so that her business can grow as well. Because at We Empower Her, we are about empowering women. So we want to make sure that she can be uplifted as well with her business. So y'all go follow her and make sure that she, um, that her business is being lifted up as well. Um, so I wanted to provide y'all with some, thank you, Lavinia, so nice. Um, I wanted to provide y'all with some problems, some resources to help you with um, like problem solving and some tools to help you with difficult times. Um, so you might have to just write these down. If you want them, just let me know and I can send them to you. Um, but some for some problem solving tips, I found this website. Um, www.heretohelp.bc.ca skills module four. It has some great problem solving tips to help you solve problems on your own. Um, and I know Tiffany said to reach out to someone, but you can um, try to solve on your own as well. So that, that may be helpful. And um, to help you face your feelings during difficult times, this website, um, www.cci.health.wa.gov that AU, resources looking after yourself, tolerating distress, um, just to help you with your distress and to help you face your feelings during hard times. This is a really great um, a site to go to to help with that. Another thing is to help build your resilience and confront any emotional pain. Um, Berkeley has a good um, a good article about the five science back strategies to help build resilience. And then another resource um, I'm all, I would always present to people is contact a the therapist. Um, a lot of times we can't do this by ourselves. And sometimes our friends and family can't help us. Tiffany said there are resources out there to help you um, get funding or maybe government help for a therapist if you can't afford it. Um, you can also Google and look for affordable therapists online. Um, I work for the Crisis Tech Line as a volunteer, so I have actually seen resources um, that the Crisis Tech Line provides um, for therapists that are affordable. So you can also contact the Crisis, Te Crisis Tech Line at 741-741, just text that in, and they'll be willing to talk to you too and help you come up with a plan to help you get through whatever you're going through. Um, so I want to provide you with these resources, and I think Lacey just shared a resource as well. Oh, um, she just said therapy, even temporary therapy, is sometimes life-saving for sure, and I totally agree with that. I totally agree with it. Um, thank you for sharing that, Lacey. So um, if you guys, does anyone have any questions or anything that you would like to say? If you do, you can put it in the chat or you can unmute yourself and say it aloud. I enjoyed um, all of the tips, Tiff. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's good. <laughs> um, okay, Lacey also said, really enjoyed the resources and advice. Good, I'm glad that this is a good opportunity for you guys. And again, this is being um, recorded, so it will be available till the end of time for everybody if you want to see it again or share it with someone else. Um, because sometimes we have people that need assistance as well, and maybe you could share this with them and help them get through their hard times. All right. So with that being said, I do want to invite y'all to my next webinar 
Um, of course, Lavinia, thank you for coming. Um, our next webinar is joint, um, we <laughs> empowering women to financial bliss. Um, so this one is financial wellness. So I know a lot of us women, we like to, I'm going to stereotype us a little bit, but a lot of us like to shop. We like to just spend money and not save. <laughs> Um, I guess I'm just talking about myself because that's me. Um, so we're, I'm going to have a financial wellness um, expert come in and speak to us about how to be financial sa financially savvy um, and maybe how to get out of debt, some things like that. So stay tuned for that. It will be on September 25th. The time has not been set yet. I like to set my time with my speakers. Um, so I will put that information out later. If you would like to get in touch with me, thank you, Jazz. If you'd like to get in touch with me, um, you can contact me at weempowerher21 at gmail.com um, and also on facebook.com slash weempowerher21. And um, you can send me a message. I'm still looking for people to share their empowerment stories with me. I know I, I reached out to some people. And still haven't gotten them, so I would like those, if you can, <laughs> so we can help empower other women. Um, but I really appreciate everyone for taking the time out. You don't know how much this means to me, because you guys coming to my webinars is also empowering me to help empower other people. So I really appreciate it. Um, so if you don't have any other questions or thoughts or concerns, I would I just want to thank you again. Um, and I'm sure Tiffany also yes. appreciates you coming out today. And they all. I didn't hear you, Tiffany. I was saying, yes, I do. And I thank you all for coming out. Thank you. All right. Well, thanks everybody for coming. I wanted y'all to see my face real quick. I'm I'm sure you could see me while I was on there, but I couldn't see myself, so I don't know. But uh, I just want to thank y'all for coming. I really, really appreciate it, and I hope y'all have a wonderful Saturday, and bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.